Pussy Gloves here, and this is the seventh video in the DSP Basics series. And today, we're going to talk about DC Offset. And you might be thinking, what is that? Well, we're going to talk about that. So, DC Offset, what happens is, sometimes your waveform does not center around the zero crossing point. And to demonstrate this, I have open a Fruity Wave Shaper. Now, I just covered this. I believe it's the seventh or sixth video in the FL12 Effects series. And uh, go watch that real quick just so you know what's going on if you're curious about what's happening. You don't need to know it, though. You're, you're going to see the waveform behave differently, though. So I'm not going to explain why. I'm just going to use this to demonstrate DC offset. So currently, I have a Citrus open, and it's generating a sine tone. And we're going to make it an octave lower just so it's a slower sine tone. And so here's our sine tone. And we can see that the... Let me pull open the controls to freeze this guy. We can see that the center zone is right there on the middle ground. It uses that as the average. And so what DC offset does is sometimes this center zone is not where your uh, waveform will move around. And this can create problems. Usually if you've recorded something externally, this could be the problem. Um, there, there's all sorts of things that can introduce this. But... So we want it around zero as the crossing line. And what it'll do is in digital audio, I'm, since you've watched the one about sampling and all that, it'll take all your samples and we'll call it the sample domain. So it will take the sample domain, which is all your samples, and it will find the mean of those samples and then refocus it on zero. So sometimes this could be the source of clicks and pops if it's not in quite the right spot. But uh, there are plugins all the time that have this thing called DC offset. And in the Fruity Wave Shaper, it's actually center is what, uh, that's why I'm going to use the Wave Shaper. Center applies DC offset, so it'll re-average out your signal. But in order for it to do that, it's got to take in some data first. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So let's, uh, let's make a signal that is not centered around zero. So let's do this. Oh, of course. I'm going to turn it on asymmetrical mode to do this. So now you can see our signal is clearly not centered around the zero line. The zero line has actually now become the peak. And we may not want that. This affects your stereo feel. It affects a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, if we hit center, you see that it moves up too. As it gets data, it'll move it back up to the center. But I want you to listen to... Um, cause this can affect your decibel range, how loud your sound can be. It can do, it can just do weird stuff to your sound. So I'm going to toggle between it and just go ahead and listen to the difference. So it may or may not be something you want. We could go the other direction. So right now we have set it back to one to one. Make sure your center is off. Otherwise this won't work again. And if we turn this up, our signal is offset and it re-centers it for us. And you get different wave shaping options as a result of this, assuming you've watched the uh, other video. But that is what DC Offset does. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with someone you think would appreciate it. And have a blessed day.